hey what's up youtube all right today we'll be looking into a simple project how do you get your gif um animation or your pictures your gifs loaded in android studio all right so pretty much what we're going to be doing is using a library called glide all right so pretty much it's pretty it's really simple to implement and once you do it you will see and we'll be using kotlin so let's get started so empty activity and let's just call this glide 101 all right and my language as i said before is kotlin all right so click in finish and let's have this build out let me close um, my previous um project all right so we're getting it built out and it's pretty simple i'm going to put a link in the description to the actual um, um github page where you can actually see for yourself i've actually went ahead and copied some of the the information over here don't worry how small it is it's really just for my reference and you'll see that it's very simple to do all right so pretty much what you want to do is to go to your 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 um your layout file here we go so that's res layout activity whatever you called your first activity or wherever you want to lay it or to put it and i'm just delete deleting this text view and let me just show an image view right here all right before i show an image view right here let me just copy over my gif and my gif element or i'm going to be loading is this here from the lion king which let me see if i can bring it up for you guys to see it's pretty much where um <laughs> it's pretty funny it's that scene from the lion king where <laughs> this scene never happened but you get the point all right so i'm just gonna copy this over into my res folder so let's go right back to my drawable folder i should say and let's just paste it in my drawable folder so we have it there so let's just paste it in uh into the main drawable folder all right give it a name mine is called lion.gif all right and let's go back to our res um our, lay our layout file all right so let's just throw an image view into our layout file all right it's going to ask you for what's the image and let's just click on mine is called lion this is the gif and uh, like okay cool that's right there and let's just make some constraints for it okay let me give it a name an id so i'm gonna call mine ims i m z you can call yours whatever you wish and let's just give it some constraints i'm gonna anchor it to the side here anchor it to the other side anchor it up anchor it down which will automatically make it center you can anchor yours however you like all right so let's jump into our gradle um files so we'll go into our second gradle file here and let's just add our dependency all right i normally like to to put some space between what I have before and what I'm going to add and this what I'm going to copy over now which is the dependency is pretty much let me copy the first one so you can see it this information will be on the page that will be in the description in the glide tutorial I should say so it's implementation Im implementation blah 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 too numerous for me to read and care about and then you copy over the annotation processor i don't know what that is but if it makes it work that's all we care about getting it to work so minimize go here again and paste it in then you just sync your gradle um project all right so while that is syncing let's go right into our um main activity that we are going to Im implement it and it's pretty simple so what you really are going to do is just simply say glide width that's what they said glide width right. i'm even copying that because you, there's no need to write it it's already written so glide with this 
and this means this activity and load and you can load a url which is a image url if you want but in this situation we'll be loading from our um drawable folder so all right so first let's implement this glide so alt and enter okay and that's implemented and the activity is this and load and let's remove this string because we're not loading a url we'll be actually loading um a element from our drawable folder so that's r dot drawable dot and mine is lion okay and it's now saying into what and i'm going to load it into my image view which pretty much you can just it was called ims no need for the find by id crap because guess what you're using kotlin and pretty much that's it okay all right so it's asking me to load um synthetic and whatnot whatnot so i've implemented that as well so pretty much when you go over to your activity your main it's, you won't even see a preview but don't be don't be worried not being able to see a preview is nothing it's there so all right now let's just run it and pretty much that's it it's not very complicated that's it that's how you get your gif in so i'm just going to pause the video so i can bring my emulator up so you can see it in action but pretty much that's all the work you need to do it's pretty much done already all right so let me just pause this video and that i can fire up my emulator so you could see it in action uh, okay guys and there we go this is it so pretty much this is our our gift being displayed and it's pretty hilarious um simba being thrown off a cliff um yeah and but the only issue i notice is that it automatically loops your your um your gif um i'm not sure how to stop it but more than likely there must be a um um a feature to stop it from looping but right now it's looping so pretty much that's it and that's how you simply implement your gl glide um library in your android studio project and it's not just useful for gifs it's useful for all fo forms of images especially those that are coming from externally from the internet anyways thanks for watching guys and um, subscribe if you like um pretty much yeah yeah and tell me if there's a better way. Thanks for watching.